Middle East is a boiling cauldron ready to erupt into major warlike activity. Uh, the Russians have just recently announced, the Russian government, that they're rearming with nuclear warheads. Nuclear weapons are proliferating around the world uh, more than people think. Uh, so we're faced with a very, very dark situation if something's not done. That's why I think that uh, Barack Obama needs to be a peacemaker and not continue the Bush administration's uh, image of a war-making empire. Nikita Khrushchev, who was the leader of the Soviet Union, was a loose cannon. Uh, some people thought he was crazy. They didn't know what he was going to do next. And the, it was during the Cold War, and military uh, bombs and nuclear weapons were aimed at each other. It, the world could go off into World War III at any moment. Uh, Eisenhower actually got this fellow to the United States and uh, brokered a peace deal with him. Then he went on a worldwide tour of the world. Uh, and Eisenhower was seen as a god almost. Wherever he went, uh, India, Pakistan, Turkey, Greece, wherever he went, people laid out red carpets and said they loved him. Uh, in India, he was actually uh, likened to uh, Mahatma Gandhi, the great um, Indian saint. He was loved. And in 1959, he was chosen time person of the year for his peacemaking activities. This is the Barack Obama model, I think, that's really important. It creates a whole new image for the United States, the world. Instead of, of America being seen as a war-mongering empire, all of a sudden we can be seen as peacemakers. And we should be. We can unite the world. The world is tired, torn, and splintered. Uh, Barack Obama can bring us together. Hopefully he will do that. The thing about Eisenhower that's so important, though, uh, at the end of his two years in office, in 1961, in his farewell address, he startled people when he said, I see something has gone wrong, though. Uh, in the world. Uh, there has emerged this military industrial complex that will not only uh, take away democracy, uh, could deprive us of our civil liberties, but could be very, very dangerous as well to the whole world. This is coming from a, a, a general who commandeered the troops in World War II. So he saw that something had happened. There had been a fusion of the corporate world and the military into this military industrial complex that would, would uh, make war for profit. Uh, and that's what we have today. The United States spends $700 billion a year just on its military alone. We have bases in 70% of the world's countries, believe it or not. So uh, people wonder why when we go places, uh, Americans and even our leaders sometimes, people pick at them, they hate them, uh, they see us as occupiers. It's time to change all that. I think Barack Obama can do that. And I think we need to uh, heed the words of the great Martin Luther King, who during his uh, stay on this earth, which was a very brief stay, uh, in 1967 he gave this great speech. It was a Christmas sermon where he took a very strong anti-war stance. And this is what he had to say. If we don't have goodwill toward men in this world, we will destroy ourselves by the misuse of our own instruments and our own power. Wisdom born of experience should tell us that war is obsolete. We must either learn to live together as brothers, or we are going to perish together as fools.